Hi guys, it's Laurie at ArdentDesigns.ca. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be going over the dropper tool. Now, the shortcut for the dropper is F7, but if you're on a, a laptop like me, you'll see these two arrows down at the bottom and you'll find your dropper right there. And that's what that looks like. So I'm going to go over a few things. When you have the dropper open, when you've selected the dropper, you'll see that we have a little menu here and there's only two items in the menu. So I'm going to go over what these things mean and uh, a couple of shortcuts here. So we'll start at the beginning. So if you pick the alpha, let me just uncheck everything here. If you pick the alpha check, if, if the pick alpha checkbox is off, the selected object will inherit the fill color. So before I do that, I wanna explain that this color here, let's go to the select tool. These colors, you'll see that I've dropped the red down in the alpha channel. I've dropped the opacity down in each one of these colors. So you see that. So let's go back here and I'll use my shortcut, which is F7. So I'll get the dropper tool. So let's pick, pick alpha. Okay. And the checkbox is off. Check, checkbox off. So now we're going to just scroll through here and you'll see we get the inherited fill color. Now, if the pick alpha checkbox is on, but the assign alpha is off, the selected object will get the fill color, bright color, and be opaque. So I'm going to select this one and F7 to get the dropper tool. I'm going to pick alpha and assign alpha will be off. Now I'll drag through the yellow and you'll see I get the bright color. Okay, and also note that the bright color has full opacity, even though I showed you that this one does not. Okay, so one more, pick alpha and assign alpha are on. So let's turn them both on. The selected object will get the fill color pale and be partially transparent. So go to the select tool here, select F7 for the dropper, pick an assigner on, and now I'm going to drag through here. So you see it's inherited the transparency. Okay, let's scroll over here. I've already told you that the dropper is the F7. And if you wanted to do this to the stroke, you'll see that the original has uh, like a blue color. You just press shift to get the stroke. Now, the neat thing about this, let me go back to the select tool. I'm going to select this object here and I'm going to press F7. So alt click gets the inverse of the color selected. So I'm going to drag through this green and you get green. But if you press alt and drag through, you get purple. So that's pretty cool. You can try it on different colors here and see what you get. So let's select this here, press F7, I'll press Alt, and there's the inverse. Pretty cool. I'll just undo all that. Okay, so that is how you can use the F7, the dropper tool, to pick colors. If you liked the tutorial, please do like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.